checks the attitude first. Is there any craving or not? Expectation or not? Because everybody have habit, whatever they doing, motivation is craving. This is a become habit. So checking the expectation or craving have or not. When you are meditating times, the craving is a lot of big problem because of craving. Every difficulty is arising. Without craving, without expectation, the mind is free. The mind has freedom or revelation. Our meditation also free from this craving or deluded. Just simply aware or recognizing in the present moment is very simple. But because of craving or expectation make difficulty, confuse, doubt, boring is arising. If your expectation too high, boring is very easy to happen. What are you expecting? Expect for for the result. You expect the result is better or good. Wisdom is not attention to the result. Wisdom is pay attention to the cause. What cause we have? Because understanding know the cause and effect. It's, it's the cause is complete, then the result is coming. So wisdom always look at the cause. Craving always look at the result. We are always thinking about the result. It is a craving. What are you will get anything from you is without because of conditioning, not because of craving. People think because of one thing and doing that you can get it. Actually, what are you? Whatever you get it, anything is because of conditioning. Not because of one thing. That's why people think wrong way. Because of I want, I do, I get. That's why people, they want, they do a lot. They try a lot. Effort also, trying effort also one factor. But everything you 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 try, you cannot get anything. There must be effort. There must be wisdom. There must be awareness. There's many costs, and conditioning is complete. Then you get. In your life, whatever you get it now, everything is conditioning. Not because of one thing only. Only thing you can get it because of one thing is suffering. Whatever the one thing is arising, the mind is suffer. Any time. Whatever you want, because on one thing the craving mind bring the suffering feeling. Every time the expect the craving is arising in the mind, the mind become suffering, dense.
because of one thing, because of craving, anxiety, worry, angry, they can happen. Sadness, upset, depressed, all are because of one thing, or attachment. We try to relieve our attachment or craving. That's why we meditate. With that is growing, then attachment must be less and less. This is because of right practice, continuously, the growing the wisdom. Because of wisdom, the looted and craving must be weaker and weaker. There is a no greed, there is a nibbana. There is a no aversion, there is a nibbana. There is a no deluded, there is a nibbana. This is a Buddha talk. Totally in the mind. It's no more greed anymore. The mind is freedom. The mind is liberate. This is a nibbana. Actually, nibbana is object, but we don't know what is ob- this kind of object. But we can know our mind. The mind has loba, you can know. The mind is greed, you can know. The mind has divine mind, we can know. Also, the mind has no defilement. We can know, we can understand, we can experience with the mind. So mind is a purified, no more defilement. Then he chooses his object. Mind and object is, must be matched. Only the purify the mind can catch the, this kind of object. Which the object is reality. When the mind is purified, the wisdom can arise. That's why we take care of our mind state and purify our mind. How to purify it? To grow the this wholesome quality of mind, awareness, samadhi and wisdom, effort, faith, moment to moment to growing. Depend on your wholesome quality is increase. Defilement is no chance to come. And slowly the mind become more purified. Then see whatever can understand as it is, as they are. So depend on your quality of mind, you can experience, you can understand the nature. Because of defilement is happening in your mind, recover the truth. Defilement means it's a deluded, is a leader. The Ludi is a present, the craving, aversion, any defilement is a chance to come. It, the Ludi is cover the true reality. The illusion, illusion mind is attention to the concept. The Ludi mind is not understanding the reality. The mind create the concept, and also the mind believe the concept because of the lucid mind. So meditation is better to be checking. Checking is wisdom is present. Checking means what happening. Checking the 
process or experience. Checking is not fix the object, open the object, whatever happened, you want to know, that's why he's checking. If you focus, it's only one object. Checking is alert, await. Why we need to practice moment to moment? Because of the mind nature is whatever mind arising many times, uh, many times happen, allowed to happen again and again and again, then quality is better and better, stronger and stronger. Any wholesome mind or unwholesome mind. For example, the angry. You allow to happen again and again. Uh, angry is more stronger and stronger. Because of this happened many times. Allowed to happen many times. That means we are feeding the defilement. The defilement becomes more stronger and bigger. Also awareness, wholesome mind also, wisdom also, samadhi also. We need to allow him, this kind of mind, to happen again and again and again. Then quality is stronger and stronger. Intensity is stronger and stronger, better and better. That's why we need to practice, allow this awareness, practice moment to moment. So you practice moment to moment, moment to moment and become momentum. Momentum means it's become natural habit. Habit is a second nature. Habit is a become second nature. Nature means it's become automatic, nearly automatic. You no need to try to this happen. Because of momentum, they happening again and again and again, then speed is coming. If your momentum is arising, then personal effort is not necessary. Because of personal effort, we have idea of self. I am meditating. I am being mindful. I am trying to aware. Because of personal effort, the idea of self is very strong. Atta is very strong. When the momentum is coming, no personal effort is there, then another idea is more obvious. Because they do their job. Awareness is nature, the mind. He do his job because of momentum. That time is nobody there. Nature is meditating. Meditating is happening continuously, naturally. You no need to be aware. Even if you forget to be aware, the awareness is already there. This another idea is very important in the practice. If your other idea is in there, understanding arising very weak. There is no I, there is no self. Understanding is very obvious, very deep, very strong. That's why momentum is very important. Without momentum, you cannot understand the vipassana meditation yet. Happening also become, experience also become natural process. 
But it did remain also a natural process. Then the practice in your life. Dhamma is in your life together. Dhamma and life is become together. Life means is whatever you think, you talk, you act. The, any process, any action, mentally action, verbal action, and physical action also. Every action has awareness and wisdom is present. The time wisdom is motivation. Wisdom is a leading. The mind want to be deluded. Deluded also have want to be happy. You don't want to be recognized awareness in the present moment. Because his habit his nature is one don't know. You want to be don't know. Western nature want to be know. We can we need to be know what is happening. Then we can understand what is this how this happened? Why this happened? Who is this? People are not improved. They are brightest. They start the brightest long, long time. But improve is very weak. The fireman is not weaker. They have the family stronger because of they are not practice moment to moment. They have they don't have the momentum of our practice. They are not practice all the time. The continuity of practice is very important. Whatever you think, there is a mindfulness. Whatever you talk, there is a mindfulness. Whatever you add, you do, there is a mindfulness. Must be automatic. First, we need to do this is aim. Try to awareness become nature. There is understanding way, three way. First, you need to know how to get the wisdom growing. You, under, you must understand how to practice right way. If you practice right way, wisdom can happen. Second is when you know how to practice, understanding the practice, you need to maintain this understanding all the time. Most skillful. And wisdom is slowly, slowly collecting the wisdom, bit by bit. Small, small understanding also wisdom. But if you long time collab together, your wisdom is become bigger and bigger. But must be long time. Again and again, day by day, day by day, moment to moment. You, if you can practice this way, you can maintain that this, what you get it, because your awareness, your samadhi, your wisdom, Still continue growing. This also some kind of understanding can do this. 
you, you need to understand how the wisdom grow, how to maintain the, this sila, uh, samadhi, awareness samadhi and wisdom, then how to invest and explore the, your wisdom. This is all our understanding level. In the Manda Namakana, full kind of Nama Manda group, there is some consciousness, Vinyana, there is a perception, Sanya, the feeling, Vedana, and Sankara group. In Sankara group is there is a wholesome mind or unwholesome mind, mental state is together. Because of sankhara, because of intention, volition, intention, volition is meaning is sankhara. To make the happen something to. So because of mental energy first, physical energy is happen. Because of intention, make the vayodadu. Because of mind, the wild dadu is happening. We call Sitasa Rupa, Sitasa Wayo. This Wayo is an air element. Because the air element is energy. It become physical energy. It comes from air element. This air element comes from the mind, intention mind. So any intention moves the action. Your part of body, many part of body moving, a lot of action is come from the intention. Without intention, you cannot do, you cannot act. Intention weak, sometimes the mind has intention very weak. The mind cannot decide to do. There is some intention there, but body is not moved because intention is not enough. So intention is very important for the, in the practice. If you don't know the intention, then you don't understand the cause and effect. And intention also, there's a two kind of motivation. One is a defilement, one is a wholesome mind or wisdom. If you notice your intention mind first, before action, then you must have you have to you have a space. You can think. It should be do, should or not necessary or not to do this. The mind can think with with the wisdom. Then you can you can choose your action wholesome or unwholesome. Intention must be happen with the defilement or wisdom. There is a defilement intention we don't follow. We just watch and aware. If your intention is good, okay, you can allow to do this, talk this, thinking this. The English word intention, sankara, what you call sankara, intention, willing, volition, every time you know that this meant the at, at intention and the action, because of intention, mind and action, many times you notice, very obviously understand Another is coming because another is a cause and effect of process. There is nobody there. Intention mind, physical action. Intention mind, physical action. There is nobody there.
Every mind has their quality, their characteristic, their function is there. Different function. The intention, the mind also, the whole body related to the whole body. Any part of your body move, want to move, there must be intention first, then action happen. So know the intention also very important. Whatever you talk before, you must be have intention. If you catch it, you can handle your talking action also. Physical action also choose the beneficial way. Otherwise, nonsense things we doing, we thinking, we talking because of the looted. So we need to change our mental state, the whole mental state. Now the mind is, habit is, craving is nature. Defining is nature. So we must change our nature upside down. So practice continuously is very important. You must switch on your awareness all the time. Be, be careful about every action. Small, small action also carefully to notice, to aware, but relaxed way, gentle way. That's fine, reminding all the time, meditation time, it's all the time. And wholeheartedly and interest to the present moment. About your sixth and door. Outside the door is concept. We're not interested in the concept. We're not paying attention too much about the concept. We more learn from the real nature, direct experience. So keep going, practicing. Just simply to practice. If meditation is simple, there is no problem. Everything is nature. Nature happens itself. Just know the experience is experience. If you are thinking about the experience of what meaning, then problem is coming. Meditation is very simple, to aware the experience. Happening mind also happening itself. Awareness also happening itself. So there is no problem. Just Lava is present and you, the mind recognizes the Lava is present. Anger is present, the mind recognizes the anger is present. There's no problem anymore. If there is an eye, Idea of self is exist. Idea of self is exist. That's all. For wisdom, for awareness, is no problem. You just watching, organizing. Any defilement, they do their job. If you have a right view or right attitude, watching is no problem. Watching is not involved to the experience. Watching is 
far away from the expedient. Make it simple to practice. <coughs> Let the nature happen. They do their job. Let it be. Oh, and also he do his job. If you are focused to the object, we need to start to think about the meaning of object. We should not stay in the object. We should stay in awareness. We know the knowing mind or awareness mind through the object. So just to watch the mind, the mind know itself. Why is the mind knowing? Why is the mind aware of? When the mind is ready, five indriya is balanced, there is no defilement, no craving, no expectation, then wisdom can arise. In. Just interest the experience. Because of experience, we can understand it impermanent. You can understand it, it's dukkha, understanding of another, there's nobody there. There's only cause and effect process is happening. Because the defilement is wrong, the wisdom cannot come. Understanding of impermanence is obvious. There is no doubt. Changing all the time. Experience always changing. Our new experience come all the time. Every moment is new. Because of all is disappear. The old one is disappear, the new one must become arising. changing, different, whatever. The mind is ready, you can understand it impermanent. Rising and passing away is the sign, uh, sign of the in, a nature. But understanding, because of understanding the nature, this characteristic, three kind of characteristic is understand level. Because of this understanding, the mind has more freedom, more liberation, not suffer feeling. The mind is economic, more economic, more stable. Because of and this understanding that this nature dogha not dogha is understanding dogha is three level of understanding. People understanding the dogha is just feeling dogha, feeling suffering, because they translate dogha is suffering. But people only know the suffering is a feeling suffering. This also including the Dukkha, understanding of Dukkha. This is the first Dukkha, first understanding of Dukkha is suffering. But only the suffering is not enough. Because of people understanding the suffering is feeling suffering. So every unpleasant and suffering feeling, suffering feeling is Dukkha. It is a first level of understanding of Dukkha. Diet, suffering is Dukkha. There is a Dukkha, Dukkha. We bring Nama Dukkha and Sankara Dukkha, three levels of Dukkha. And three levels of understanding the Dukkha. First Dukkha, everybody understands suffering, feeling. Second is we bring Nama Dukkha. We bring Nama Dukkha means 
we need to do something to happen again and again and again. Never finish to make it to make it something happen again and again. For example, the eating. Every day we eat, we move, we try, we eat, we eat every day. Again and again and again, never finish. Daily activity, we do every day, morning, evening, lunch. Only action is every day we are walk, walking. Because of deluded, we don't know. We cannot understand it is dukkha. We want to be doing it. Eating is good. Trying to do is good. And we try to do and enjoy because of we don't understand it, it is a dukkha, because of deluded. Do again and again and again, never boring, interest, trying, happy to do this because of deluded is covered, understanding. When the defilement is weaker and weaker, people, yogi can understand. It's dukkha. Because of this understanding of dukkha, the mind is detachment coming, non-attachment, like goal of attachment. Not very happy to do this, only the just doing. Not because I'm happy to do this, not happy to, not very excited to do this. Without understanding, people are enjoying. Chewing is good, eating is good. Try again and again also good, because of deluded, cover the truth. Because of understanding, the dukkha arising. It's become tired or boring, suffering. Sansara is again and again and again, it's arising and passing away. Next come arising and passing away, never finish, never stop. This is understanding of Vipri Nama Dukkha. Breathing also took again and again and again to breathing. Drinking water also took eating the food also took sleep also took Every day we are walking, we try again and again and again, never finish. But people are enjoying the food, enjoying to sleep, enjoying to do again and again and again. Never boring because of deluded think. This is good. good. So actually, the understanding of dukkha arises. You cannot say this is a good. You cannot think this is a good. This is also meaning of asupa. There is no supa. This is asupa. Asupa means it's not good. You cannot think as a good. If you think it's good, then attachment is coming. But this is also not negative of too, uh, good. If you're not good, people think it's bad. If you think it's bad, then go to the angry sides, resist and calm. But understanding only can understand it, this is not good. You cannot say good because of every time rising and passing away. How to be good? Try again, again, again. Never finish. How to be good? But if you're not understanding fully, very important, very 
slightly go to the angry side. Someone understanding the eating is too good. Then, if he tired, cannot enjoy the eat, then he stop eating. This is a follow that resistant. Wisdom know this should be eat, should eat. <clears throat> Very slightly, the wisdom is not complete. Sometimes change to the direction, go to the anger, resistant. If you're boring, not doing this. If you're tired, the mind not doing this. But wisdom is no. Should or not need or not necessary or not. This is tired, right? It is a tired, but you should do. Can do without craving, without aversion. Just do it because it's necessary. This is a weeping namadukha. Every day we have experience. A lot of dukkha is characteristic there. But the mind is a lot of deluded, so the mind don't know. Want to be do again and again and again. <coughs> Want to be happen again and again and again. Because I'm not understanding the happening is dukkha. Happening is also to cut. Passing will also to cut. How do understanding? Happening is suffering. People understanding suffering is only feeling. Something arising, how to understand it is to cut. Always we think of nice, good. Some days arising, the mind thinks this is good. Nobody understands this is a dukkha. Arising is dukkha. Happening is dukkha. Want to be happen again and again and again. The whole life never finish. Because of deluded. We're not understanding the dukkha. This is not easy. Because of deluded or defilement, is cover the truth. When your mind is defilement, is weaker and weaker, then this kind of understanding. The whole day you, you need to do many things. A lot of understanding can arise. Seeing happening is dukkha. Looking up, looking also dukkha. Hearing happening also dukkha. Listening also dukkha. But dukkha is understanding. Because of understanding, the mind is detached, liberate the freedom. Equanimity, not feeling suffering all the time. If people are not understanding of dukkha, only the feeling suffering, they think this is dukkha. When you have a samadhi, be deep, tranquil. This happening, we not understanding this dukkha. We like we think this is a good, or somebody very peaceful, very calm. Oh, this is nice. How to understand it, this is dukkha? So, depend on the defilement, intensity of defilement, we cannot understand deeply. So do we need to practice all the time to grow the good quality of mind, this awareness, samadhi, and wisdom, growing, 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 
Twenty-five men is less and less and less. When the twenty-five men be really less and less, then deeply understanding is arising. You can understand deeply. Any six and all these are only impermanent. And you can understand impermanent. You can under, understand of dukkha. You can understand anatta. Anatta is obvious, but difficult to understand in dukkha. Buddha said only the dukkha is exists, but we think this is a sukha, opposite way, because the wisdom see this is a dukkha. The five men see this is a nice or bad. Good or bad, no right one. The mind thinks this is a good, this is a bad, this is a deluded. Wisdom and divinement nature view is opposite. This feeling is good. That feeling is good. That feeling bad. This feeling is bad. It is only deluded, but wisdom understanding. Any feeling is impermanent. Any feeling is dukkha, because they are arising, they are happening. Sankara dukkha is more obvious. Sankara dukkha is namarupa. All the time, reality is changing. We want to be happen again and again because uh, we don't understand the happening is dukkha. Object also happening, knowing mind also happening, feeling also happening. All reality is happening new, new, new. All the time new, happening, arising, happening, arising. How to be understand it is dukkha. You cannot think. You cannot think about the understanding level. You cannot imagine the understanding how like this. When the understanding arises, you know. Very obviously, before idea and now, press wisdom idea is opposite. Become shocked, become surprised when the wisdom, real wisdom, is arising. The view is totally upside down. The lucid view and the wisdom view is very different because the understanding, the mind more calm, more peaceful, more free, more liberated. When your meditation is good, feeling is good, we want to be happy again. Expect to be happy again. It is a deluded nature. That's why we try again. Actually, it is also dukkha. Good experience also, good feeling also dukkha. So more your understanding of dukkha, the mind more equanimity coming, detachment is coming. That's why feeling also peaceful. You no know, agitation, more stable. But what should we do? We need to do, just do it. We are before we we doing. If you want, if you like it, we do. If you don't like it, we stop. It is a do a swim. Because of liking, we continue. Because of disliking, we stop. 
But wisdom is not like this. Wisdom is should or not, need or not, necessary or not, understanding this. So he just do it. But not because not attached, not resist. Because understanding and doing this. If you understanding the dukkha, it's not depressed. But if you think about dukkha, maybe you to become depressed. Because the thinking and understanding is opposite. So somebody not understanding completely of dukkha, then something may happen. They become upset, depressed, go to the anger side. Depression is arising because of not understanding fully, very slightly, very careful. Understanding nature is a far away and see not involved with the experience. If you are involved with the experience, something happen. Emotion can come. When you are understanding the dukkha, no more emotion. Settle down. Accept. Relax. No defilement. Because of understanding. So everything is happening, just recognize. <coughs> the experience is very simple. Everything is happening. We are aware of this happening many times, but understand not arising. Everything happening, good, present, unpleasant. We don't understand it. it's happening. Is too cut. So depend on your quality of mind, then you can see the view. So take care of your mind. Take care of your defilement. Maintain that your purified of mind, peaceful mind, awareness mind. This five ingredients become balanced all the time. So. Your mind is more stronger and stronger. Experience is simple, but understanding is deeper. So quality of mind is very important. That's why we need to watch our mind all the time. You know. If you define man there, we know define man there, then define man gone. Define man cannot, cannot stay longer and exaggerate. When you, we met, the, when we were aware of the define man, then define man gone. If you don't see the define man, define man stay and bigger and bigger. When you notice define man present, define man disappear. He cannot stay longer. He cannot hide. Even on your wisdom level. So, practice continuously growing your awareness, your samadhi, and your wisdom. This is the only meditation. So, the mind must be ready all the time. Then, experience any experience arising, then deeper understanding can rise. So check in your mind all the time. Don't let the defilement overwhelm your mind. Your mind must be awareness, samadhi, wisdom, please. Make, make it all the time. So continue practice, keeping on 